Hey everyone, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be a reveal of um, a deck that I had to order from Australia because I wanted it um, sooner than it came out here in the U.S. Um, it's by the artist is one of my favorite artists for um, Oracle cards right now. Um, it is the Myths and Mermaids Ocean of the Water, or I mean Ocean of the Water. I can't talk. It's been a long day. Oracle of the Water by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and Amber Logan and Kachina Micheletto. Hope I didn't murder that. But, um, obviously it's a mermaid centered deck. Um, and I wanted this deck as soon as I saw it because I love Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork. Um, she is just absolutely phenomenal. And pretty much everything that she, well, not pretty much everything that she does is amazing. Um, the books must get, I love smell of books. Um, but she is just an amazing artist and she, her, her pictures really help the, um, really help your intuition. And so I am, so not counting the, um, about the author pages, um, the guidebook is 107 pages. Um, I love how each page it has um, alchemical seed. Like this is one of the cards, and it has a little incantation or poem, and the divination meaning and the antithesis of it. So um, very um, it's very simple. This book is a very simple book. And one thing that is a little, a little bit different about these cards is that there's no um, meaning on the cards. So when you look at these cards, you don't necessarily get, um, like you do in the Lucy Cavendish decks, where it kind of gives your intuition a jumping off point. Um, so that's going to kind of be a um, learning kind of curve. Um, but I think a lot of these cards, the intuition can, can jump off of. Um, so I'm going to show you to start showing these are the backs of the cards, and we'll see what card this is later on in the deck. Um, this is Mermaid with Pink Lotus. Nautilus Angel. And this deck does have um, sideways cards. Mermaid with the Golden Dragon. Tiger Lily, Tiger Nautilus. Mermaid with the Baby Alligator. Tale of Mossy Gold. Halcyon. Halcyon. Sea Beasties. Green Mermaid Triplets. Water Elementals. Flying Fish, Reaching for Sunset, that's a beautiful card, Tiki Mermaid, Venus with Cherubs, that's where the box art comes from, Microchasm Seascape, Big Blue Whale, Jeweled Octopus, Archimboldo Mermaid, Jellyfish Portal, Manta Ray Mermaid, Triumph of Galatea. Ooh, I like this one. Stardust Angel. Golden Mermaid. I like the Alchemal Seas one because I know what that one means already. <laughs> that is a really pretty one. Mermaid Picking Lotus Blossoms. Absinthe Mermaid. 
So I think it's going to be really interesting to work with um, um, horizontal cards in this deck. Um, not quite sure how I will, you know, work that in, but Sea Chariot. A certain slant of light. Storm Chaser. Mermaid with Butterflies. Autumn Mermaid. Hamadir Lake. Mermaid Mother and Child. My Tentacled Friend. Microchasm Sea Monsters. La Sarina. Mermaid with Floating Flowers. Stranded. Seashell Princess. Shipwreck Siren. Haughty Mermaid. Mermaid with a Black Sea Serpent. An alien emerges in trilobites. Um, I first impression of this deck is the artwork is beautiful, but I do not like how there are no explanations on the cards. Um, I mean, it, and it's nothing to read the guidebook and you know follow along, but. For me, I love when I get it when I get an Oracle card deck, especially one that and it was by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I really expect it to have um, certain things, and this this deck did. And then it kind of worried me from the beginning. Not worried me. Not I don't want to say it worried me, but it is one of the turnoffs of this deck. Um, so if you want a deck that you can use out of the box, this really isn't it. Um, but if you love Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork and you're a collector of Oracle cards, it's an amazing deck. Um, it will take some getting used to to work with this deck, um, but like I said, you know I love her artwork, and it really connects. So um, I'll be able to probably pick it up really easily. But this deck retails. What does really matter? Because I bought it from Australia. But I think it was like thirty two, thirty eight dollars on um, on Blue Angel's website. So it's not bad. Um, but I mean, it's a good deck to have. You know, if you like Jasmine Baker Griffith's artwork. I would highly recommend it. But, um, yeah, so that was the Oracle of the Mermaids. Or not Oracle of the Mermaids. Myths and Mermaids, Oracle of the Water. There is a um, Oracle of the Mermaids, but it's by Lucy Cavendish. And another artist I forgot the name of. But, yeah, so it's a great deck. Um, if you're starting out, it might not be one of the best ones to get. Um, and if you, also, if you really love mermaids and water-themed deck, it's a great one, too, along with Oracle of the Mermaids. So, yeah, definitely get it. Um... It's beautiful. It just takes a little bit of work to get to know and play with. But um, that's it. And I hope you guys like it. And all my contact information, once again, will be listed below. So like and share this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.